Uh, next up, we I want to introduce and welcome to the stage Candace Parker with Big Bunny Creative. Candace Parker is the founder of Big Bunny Creative. She's down near Houston, Texas, down in South Texas, a branding and design studio in Houston with a background in marketing and graphic design over 10 years in the industry, has a skill skill set and a passion to really grow this business. She sits on the AMA Houston board um, and just has a great perspective. And she's going to talk with us a little bit and share her SKUCon story about the very, almost the very thing we just talked about, Candice, I think is sort of integrating work and life in a more harmonious way. So I'll leave it to you, Candice. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. I'm really excited to be here. I am Candace Parker. Um, I'm going to share my screen with y'all. Um, I live in Houston, Texas, and I am the owner of Big Bunny Creative. I'll kind of tell y'all more about the name behind the brand um, a little bit later. Um, but we are proud users of the CommonSQ platform, so we're excited to be here um, and be part of this event. So, um, but before I start, I wanted to ask, have any of y'all ever done this exercise where you have to pick three words that define your identity? So like at a conference other than this one, I got to do this exercise like several times and it always makes me like wildly anxious, which is just my personality in general, but I... I can never pick just three. And that's kind of like the topic of my story is just going in and seeing which of these, you know, identities that you um, have can really work together. So like Bobby said, everything working in harmony together. But um, yeah, I, and then I always feel guilty. Like I have like this long list and I'm like, well, what about this one? Like this one's important too. So it never worked out for me. Um, but me over here. Okay, so my journey begins in 2010. Um, I was graduating from the Art Institute here in Houston, and I was pregnant with my son, Dylan. Um, and unfortunately, <laughs> most of my uh, professors said, you know, okay, well, you're pregnant and you're entry level, so you should probably, you know, amp up your freelance business and start something like that because no one's going to hire you. And, you know, of course I was like, Oh my God, that's so rude, but they were right. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was better for me to kind of get this foundation started anyway. So looking back, it was the right decision. So I came up with this super creative, um, business cause I was a designer and I was a mama. So I, came up with the design mama and started a business with this gorgeous logo. Um, it's hard to look at, but that's kind of where my journey began. And little did I know that I was already like compartmentalizing myself into these roles. Um, but so it's kind of ironic, but later on, I was lucky enough to get a job as entry-level designer at Igloo the cooler company. It's out in Katy, Texas, outside of Houston, um, in the middle of nowhere. And um, this is actually a picture of my son and I. This is me in my goth phase with the pale skin and black hair. But they like to use their employees as models. So we got to do that. And that was super fun. Um, that's him as a little baby. He's, he's 10 now. So, um, but working there and working at different agencies, you know, throughout the next few years, I realized, you know, I can't break out of these boxes. I keep hearing, you know, because I'm a mom and I have these responsibilities, I, I can't be a creative director. I can't be, you know, a manager of, you know, a department because I have other responsibilities that are more important. And they were, but, you know, it's super frustrating because I have the skill set, I have the motivation, I want it, but I was never given the opportunity just because of all these things kind of like holding me back. Um, and the same thing goes for designer. As I moved on, you know, and wanted to go into other sections of marketing, such as promotional products and stuff like that, I was also told like, okay, well, you're a designer, so stick to design. You can do the mock-ups and design stuff, but, you know, you can't build your own client base. You don't need to be in sales. 
kind of, you know, just kept getting shut down by different people and never really getting the opportunity to grow myself, which, you know, kind of speaks about the people in the places that I was working for, because I know there are a lot of people that get to grow within the businesses that they're at. Um, but for me, it just wasn't happening. And it was super, you know, depressing. It was bad for my mental health, all that stuff. So um, this is a picture of my son. Um, he's sleeping under my desk when I would freelance after work. So I kept on freelancing during this whole time of me like working elsewhere and um, kind of having this dream of meshing my two worlds of mom and designer and wanting, you know, more. So my sweet little boy is always so supportive and living his best life. Um, but, you know, like kids can't sleep and whatever. It was so hard. But this was actually the beginning of me kind of combining those two worlds and having him sleep under my desk while I worked freelance at night. Um, and that kind of led up to our big rebrand. Um, in 2019, right before the pandemic, um, in October, I rebranded the Design Mama to be Big Bunny Creative and just kind of had all the stars aligned with like everything from, you know, making my own connections, having friends and referrals and clients and gaining all this momentum. Um, it just made sense for me to just at least give it a whirl. Um, so I fully committed tattoos and all branded my whole life. Um, and included my son, obviously, you know, he's helping me design the logo um, and really just empowering myself to, you know, after eight years of the struggle bus um, and being like somewhat unhappy and in these boxes, um, just growing and doing my passion. And it was really um, a fun time and a fun uh, business to start. So um, coming full circle, this is introducing Bunny. So he's a cat. Um, my sister and I were like three years old and my parents got us this cat for Easter. So of course we wanted to name him Bunny. And um, that's kind of another one of my like identities that I wanted to bring in and not just have like all these different lives. Um, I really like that it's you know, a real story. It's not just some made up name that I came up with, you know, sitting at the bar one night. I, <laughs> you could, this is me. I'm probably five years old here, um, sitting with him. So for size reference, he was big. Um, and so that's where big bunny comes from, but he also had like this awesome personality where, okay, like obviously he's a cat and he gives zero fucks. He does not care about anyone. But he's also so big, so lovable. He was a badass. He ended up with like one eye, a broken leg, but still was just like this big personality that, you know, wasn't afraid to be himself and was also cute and cuddly and protective. You know, he walked me to the bus stop in the mornings and would like sit in the bushes and kind of be um, my little protector. So um, it was, that's the, <laughs> the OG behind the name. Um, and that's kind of it. I wanted to introduce him to y'all and introduce these ideas to kind of challenge y'all to think outside of your box. If there's a box that you feel more passionate about and you're kind of feeling stuck to just try to integrate it, um, into your life, um, however you can, and hopefully, um, I inspired y'all to do so. So thank you.